how you look, baby. I'm guys. Absolutely guys. I really thought this was it. I really thought this was the tournament. Penalties. It had to be penalties, didn't it? Oh. Where do I start? Let's go all the way back to the start of the game. Change of system. Change of system to a back three. To combat the width that Italy brought. And in the first half it worked wonders. They dominated that first half. Or large parts of it. Got the early goal, which I thought was massive. And there were reminiscences of the World Cup semi-final. I was just hoping that we could hold on. Second half started. Italy came out. They got their width. They got control of the game. Their forward players were having more of an influence. We kept getting pushed back. Um, Pickford was starting to get called into action more. And the pressure kept coming. And eventually the goal came. The disappointing thing is that both of our goals that we've conceded from this tournament have been from set pieces. That is so frustrating. Rice gets drawn towards his marker. Stones gets the wrong side. Mount loses the header at the back post. Pitford is so unlucky with that save. I mean, that save, it could have gone anywhere. But it happened to fall to an, an Italian player. And they equalised. But you can't say that Gareth Southgate didn't try to change the game, because he did. And if you think that, then you're wrong, because he did try to change the game. He changed the system, and he brought Saka and Grealish on to try and change the game. We got to extra time, and I thought in extra time, we were growing into it. I thought we started to grab a hold of the game a little bit more. We started to adventure forward more. Grealish and Saka were at the heart of pretty much everything we were doing. But with the changes we were making and with the way the game was going, you just felt that penalty shootout was inevitable. It brought Rashford and Sancho on for the penalty shootout. And then it went to penalties. And it's so frustrating because we were leading the shootout. We were leading the shootout. It was 2-1. Belotti's penalty gets saved by Pickford. Maguire breaks the camera with his penalty. And then it had to be the two players, well, the three players that Gareth Southgate brought on who missed the pens, didn't they? Oh, that is so, so cool on those three players, man. All so young, all so talented. And it was three consecutive misses, which is something we haven't seen from England in a long time with penalties. Pickford managed to save two penalties in the shootout, but it didn't matter too much.
I'm I'm almost on the verge of tears here because even though I wanted us to win that final and even though I wanted us to grab that brass ring and even though I wanted us to win something. I could not be more prouder to be English than I am feeling right now. Do you remember how everybody felt about 1996? Everybody is going to remember this tournament more for years to come because of the way the players and the manager made us feel. How they made us feel. And that is so important. If you want to slag off Gareth, if you, if you want to slag off the players, fine. You do you. But I can't understand why we have a tendency in this country, whenever it seems to go wrong, we always seem to nitpick at things. Gareth Southgate made the call to change the system in the first half it worked. When it wasn't going right in the second half, he changed the formation. He brought more attacking players on the pitch. What more could you want from a manager? What more can you want? As soon as he does something right, we ask for more. And that's... The negativity about being the England manager, as soon as he does something right, he wants, we want him to do it again. And more, and more, and more, and more. It doesn't work like that. Football doesn't work like that. Saka, Rashford and Sancho would have taken pens across the tournament. In training. And that's why they were picked. And yes, you can say the experienced players should have taken penalties, and I agree, they should have. But at the same time, those experienced players must have done something wrong in training to not be put on those penalties. Sanko, Rashford and Sancho must have been doing something right with their penalties in training to be put on those pens. They must have scored those pens. They must have converted those pens. Because otherwise they wouldn't have been picked. Otherwise they wouldn't have been brought off the bench. And yet, people, oh, people have the audacity to go and then racially abuse him. Sometimes I really hate the people of this country. <laughs> one moment, one moment in the whole tournament and we slag it off. Why? Why do we have to do that? Because I guarantee you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look back at this tournament I'm going to look back at this summer, 2021, the year when the tournament got delayed by a year, but yet we still called it 2020. I'm going to look back at this summer the way the same, the way other people looked at 96, maybe more, because of the way I felt and the way the team made me feel. When I'm 80 years old and living on a pension and I've got grandchildren who are watching England who don't understand the history of what I've gone through as a fan and I'll tell them the summer of 2021 that was our most successful tournament since 1966 that was when we got closest. That was when we were on the brink. That was when the country made me feel the proudest. 
a manager called Gareth Southgate who used to play for England. A group of young, talented England players. I'm going to tell all of this to my grandkids and you should too. You shouldn't go out and racially abuse players. You shouldn't go out and slag the manager as soon as he gets one thing wrong. One thing he got wrong. And yet you slag it off. Why? Why do we have to do that? Yes, it was disappointing that we lost. Of course it is. I don't like losing. But I'm also man enough to accept that we lost. But I am so proud of what that England team has achieved. I'm so proud of what that manager has achieved. So close. So, so close. In my opinion, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Football came home but without the trophy. Because England brought football home to this country this summer. And if you think about the Super League happening with all of the big six and everything else, this England team has made the English public love football again. And there's no better feeling than that. No better feeling. I'm going to look back at this tournament the same way people looked at the 96 tournament. And more. Because those players deserve it and that manager deserves it. Losing on penalties, it happens. It happens. It happens to every team. Not just England. It happens to everyone. But yet, because it's Gareth Southgate, he got it wrong. Why is that the case? Why is that the case? For me, he did the right thing. If Bukayo Saka, Jadon Sancho and Marcus Rashford were taking those penalties and the experienced players were on those penalties and they missed, then the argument changes. And people would say, why didn't Rashford take one? Why didn't Sancho take one? Why didn't Saka take one? Yet the young bucks step up. That's what the argument would have been. But yet, when the youngsters step up and the experienced players stand back, it's time for all of us to slag them off. This country, man. <sighs> they must have been taken in training and, and taking them well. They must have been taking them brilliantly to be put on those penalties. Kane stood up, Maguire stood up. Sancho, Rashford and Saka must have been taking their penalties really well in training. They must have, otherwise they wouldn't have been put on those penalties. Otherwise they wouldn't have come off the bench. But... I remember the penalty shootout. And I remember the loss. But I remember the victories so much more. 2021 and 2018 are the two tournaments that I've watched as an England fan where the team have genuinely made me feel so proud to be English. And you know what? I think we're going to get more of this. I really do. I look at the, that group. That group's only going to get better, not worse. Part of you does think, will we ever get to a final again? And, and I, am, I am thinking that at this moment in time. But with the talent that we have, we have to be optimistic about where this team can go in the future. 
and I tell you what, I'm going to say this right now. If you have slagged off Southgate, all the players after last night, then you clearly are deluded. I'm sorry, I've, I've said it. You can slaughter me in the comments, I don't care. But this manager and this group of players have given me the best ride ever. And you think one game's going to take that away from me? No. No way. We lost in the final. Yeah, cool. Well, to be honest, congratulations to Italy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say congratulations to Italy. They were immense after half time. Poured, poured the pressure on. They were unreal. And it's coming to Rome, not coming home. And. Crown isn't the word that I'm feeling right now. This is the second tournament in a row where our tournament has ended, but so happy with how we contribute to the tournament. I remember everything, the Croatia win, the Czech win, the Germany win, Pfft. I'll remember that forever. I think we all will. The Ukraine slapping, the Denmark semi final, I remember all of it. I remember this summer and this tournament more than some people will remember 96. Or at least that's how it should be remembered because we've got further. And I'm upset, obviously, we didn't win. But getting to a final in itself was a massive achievement. 55 years it had been before we got to another final. And I think more finals are to come for this England team. But... For Marcus, Jaden and, and Bukayo, don't listen to what other people are saying. Don't listen to the racists. Don't listen to the abusers. Don't listen to the internet circle. Put it into the back of your mind if you can. Recover. Go on holiday. Come back and smash it in the Premier League because that's what you do. And for every other England player and to the manager, thank you for giving me the best tournament I've ever watched. England, it's been a hell of a ride. Football came home but without the trophy and I'm on the verge of tears here, wow. Um, I don't know what else to say guys, I don't know what else to say, I've got nothing else to say so I'm just going to wrap it up. Um, thank you very much for watching, uh, leave a like and subscribe if you are as proud as I am. I'll see you all very soon. Thank you, England.